Pleasant good day to one and all. I am Faiz Mohammed. I just wanted to offer my two cents worth in light of the pandemic that is plaguing the world in terms of the COVID-19 virus. I just wanted to share some basic guidelines and common sense things that we can do as individuals to help in the situation. I feel one of the most important things we need to be continuously doing is engaging in prayer. Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, more things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. Life is fragile, handle it with prayer. When we pray, we exude positive, potent vibrations and energy into the atmosphere. This helps to nullify the negative ones and create a healthier, positive environment. So let us continue to pray. A recommended prayer is, may all the beings and all the worlds be happy, may none suffer. Above all else, we need to stay calm. Don't panic. When the mind is at rest and at peace, action performed will be to the benefit of all. When the mind is restless and plagued with stress, we can make damaging decisions that are regretful. We should avoid knee-jerk reactions. A good practice in situations like these is to pause, think, and then act. Fear. Fear is connected with negative thoughts. It is almost impossible to get rid of fear, but we need to manage fear. Whenever negative thoughts or fearful thoughts enter the mind, a good practice is to try and substitute it with positive ones. When we are able to manage our thoughts and send positive ones into the atmosphere, it can truly help in the situation. Fear and negative thoughts also affects our immunity. Our immunity goes down. Our digestion becomes weak when there is fear and negative thoughts. So it's very critical that we manage those thoughts. Let them be positive, let them be healthy, let them be beneficial. And that can affect our state of mind, our state of health. Another important requisite in times like these is cleanliness. Above all, we should be washing our hands regularly with warm water for at least 20 seconds. We should be taking daily intakes of vitamin C to build our immunity. I have also looked at this situation in a very thoughtful and considerate way. You know, we've dwelled a lot on the, the negatives in terms of the havoc, the pain, the sadness, the deaths that have occurred. Maybe we could take a little time and look at some of the positive arising out of this apparent negative. I think most important is the lesson of unity. It has taken a worldwide global humanitarian crisis to knock the world to its knees, to shock people into awareness, to shock people into self-examination, reflection, I've seen the whole world really come together, if not physically, but mentally and spiritually, to truly make a difference. When you look at the news, we will see healthcare providers, doctors, nurses, people from all walks of society, sacrificing their resources, their time, and in some cases, even their lives, to save lives. From an individual and family perspective, where thousands of families are now confined to their homes, families have an opportunity to spend quality time together, to bond together, to pray together, to radiate that love and light that is so desperately needed in the world. Individuals have a time to self-reflect, to maybe have the time now to do things in the home that you never had the time to do before. So there's so much blessings arising out of this particular calamity. And as one writer said, whenever something in inverted commas bad happens to us, 
we should always say it could have been worse. So I want to appeal to all of us to continue to pray, to continue to radiate love and light, to think positive thoughts, and to do whatever we can to better the situation, to create a better society and a more healthier one. May God bless us all in the efforts that we undertake.